Hi there, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to talk about indefinite integral. I'm going to show you an example on how to evaluate an indefinite integral. From the question, we can see that the integral doesn't look like any integral on the basic formula sheet. So what we can do about this? Now, we can see that on the numerator, there are actually two terms. So we can basically separate this integral into two parts. So this integral is basically equals to integral of x over square root of x dx plus integral of 1 over square root of x dx. Now I call this split the fraction. Now each integral can be rewritten into the exponential form. So the first integral become x to the power a half dx plus the second integral, which is x to the power minus a half dx. Now we can apply the basic formula rule. The first integral becomes x to the power a half plus one over a half plus one. The second one becomes x to the power minus a half plus one over minus a half plus one. Now there will be a plus c at the end because when we do the differentiation of this answer, the c will be gone. So when we do the integral, we have to add back the plus c. Now, if we simplify this, the first one, the first term, actually becomes x to the 3 half over 3 half plus x to the a half over a half plus c. Further simplification, because we cannot leave fraction over fraction. So we have 2x to the 3 half over 3 plus 2x to the half plus c. Now I cannot emphasize it more on this plus c. This is always related to the indefinite integral. Whenever you have indefinite integral, you have plus c. If you don't have that, your teacher probably will take off one point on your assignment or one point on your exam. So remember that. For more information about indefinite integral, please visit my website, goforaplus.com.